What's up guys, this is Joe and welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid and we're picking up from where we left off last episode in this creepily, just really eerie, quiet room. Now, there's nothing wrong with my audio, you can hear Snake's footsteps, it's just really quiet in here. It's got this huge machine over there, I'm not really sure exactly what it's for, I can take a guess. I think it's for just air purification because there's a room right next to it that's filled with poison gas and you don't want poison gas in all of the rooms here on the second floor basement, so... That's my guess for what it's for. I mean, there's a few of them. Oh, level 4 door. Nice to see what's in here. Just some stun grenades. Something new. Fine. But you can see a few of those machines right here, actually. I'm just going to go ahead and replenish my O2. When you close that door, they purify the air. You see how it's not toxic anymore? So that's what I'm guessing those are for. I might be wrong. I don't know. If I am, just go ahead and tell me in the comments. I read all the comments, so I will see it. But let's go ahead and check over here to see if there's any more level 4 doors I can open up with this new card. Oh, wow. I've got five chaff grenades. Awesome. I thought I only had one. Alright, well, fine. That's always good to go into your inventory and see that you have more than you thought. That's a nice little treat. But yeah, there's a level 4 door right over here. Gonna have to switch to my card again because I can't just use it. And there's a night vision goggle in there, so that will be useful coming up. Not this episode or the next one, but maybe the one after that because we're gonna be in a pretty dark area. And of course, you know, having night vision goggles, that's what they're made for, is gonna make it a lot easier, so... That's pretty good. I'm happy I've got that. Let me go ahead and equip my gas mask just to be safe here. And now we're actually going to head up to the first floor basement because we want to see what happened to Meryl. If you remember last episode when we were talking to Otacon for what seemed like forever. I know that was a ton of cutscenes last episode. This one's going to have a few, but not nearly as much. But yeah, when we were talking to him, we called Meryl on the codec so that she, we were going to tell her to watch over Otacon. And she just got, like, jumped. I mean, the Genome Soldiers found her. And her codec cut offline, and we couldn't get in contact with her again. So we're going to go up to B1 to make sure she's safe, to make sure that she's not dead. I mean, we want to see what's going on. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, there's going to be... We're going to have to pick which one of these soldiers is Meryl. There's three of them on this floor right now. One in the bathroom. Obviously, this can't be Meryl. So we're just going to go ahead and get rid of him. Shoot him right in the back. Got a ration. Don't need any more. And now, that cuts it down to two. Now, there's two in here. You can either take the quick and easy way. Not really easy. It's quick and, you know, gambling way of just shooting one and hoping it's not Meryl. Or you can use Otacon's method and check for that cute way of walking he mentioned. And that's what I'm going to do because I haven't raised the alarm yet in the game. And I don't want to kill Meryl. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait for this guy right here on the bottom of my Soliton radar. He's going to walk past the room. And we're going to check to see if he's Meryl. No, not Meryl. You can tell because there's no... Well, well, when you're walking next to Meryl, or Meryl's next to you, you'll hear this little sound effect. Maybe we'll hear it when she's coming over here. This has to be her. Yeah, you hear that? Oh, she just, like, glitched into the wall. Well, you can tell by that sound effect that that's Meryl. Also, by the way she walks. So, we found her. Let's go ahead and just get her attention here. Come on. I never thought I'd be wanting to get an attention. But follow right behind her like this, and you'll be seeing a very familiar sight, if you remember in the beginning of the LP, when we were seeing her doing those exercises. Don't move. Man, I can't believe she can just sneak up on Solid Snake, the master of stealth like this. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. You're Meryl? There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I was a fan of Foxhound way back, and guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a man who's good at what he does. Killing. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right, and you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life, no ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You love war and don't want it to stop? Is it the same with all great soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? My codec was broken. 
Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? How did you recognize me in disguise? I never forget a lady. So, there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. And what's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. So, Snake, how are the negotiations going? No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear, or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down. I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. Got it. I'll be careful. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father. He was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. So are you a soldier yet? I thought I was until today, but now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself, afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I wanna know who I am, what I'm capable of. I wanna know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know. Take a good look. You won't get another chance for a while. You should wash your face, too, while you're at it. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. If you lose, you're worm food. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where did you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol, too, but I chose this. Huh. So I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Don't worry, I can handle it. Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. If we're gonna go to the north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level five. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. Looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. Alright, so we've got to follow Meryl. Now we know a little bit about her, but... It's weird. Do you guys notice that the music just stopped? It's completely silent now. Hmm. That's strange. There's no guard. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? No music and now all the guards are gone. Well, I'm gonna definitely take advantage of there not being any guards, but that's weird. The music just stopped. Alright, we've got another cardboard box. Nice. I'm guessing this is to the... Yep, the nuclear warhead storage building. So there we go. We've got two boxes now. And a level 5 card. But man, it's weird the music stopped like that. Hmm. And if you don't follow, I'm just going to mention it, if you don't follow right behind Meryl, no pun intended, if you don't follow her right into the bathroom, then you will not be able to see her, you know, if you, if you, fo if you don't follow right behind her, she will just have her pants on the whole time. So that's the only difference. Alright, now let me see if there's any more rooms here. I think this is it. Oh, there we go, SOCOM bullets, nice. I mean, every time you level up or go through a big cutscene like that, Seems like you can carry a little bit more ammo. You know when you see that life bar go up, like after a boss fight? You can carry all, you know, a little bit more ammo in all of your weapons. Now, let me go ahead and see something really quick. Is this still open? Ah. Oh. What are you doing? 
Let's go to the commander's room. Ah, oh, man, I can't believe I missed out on that. If you're in the bathroom, the ladies' restroom, and you call Mei Ling, it's pretty hilarious. But I think if you look at Meryl here, there's something else that we can see. Come on. Meryl, what? there we go. What is it? Yeah, that's just another little Easter egg. If you look at Meryl, she'll just say something. But I, Meryl's hair always used to just make me laugh. It just looks like a giant hat. Like, it's, it's just ridiculous. It's like one solid unit. So that thing always made me laugh. But let's go ahead and head into the commander's room. we got a level 5 clearance. And see what's going on. Maybe why, what happened to the audio. Alright. Well, Meryl, alright, she said she would be point man. She's taking point. My head. Oh, it hurts. What's wrong? Don't come here, Snake. Are you okay? Uh, uh, what happened? I'm fine. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. What the heck? The music is back, but what's wrong with Meryl's voice? And she called me Mr. Foxhound? I'm, my name is Snake. You were just calling me Snake a couple of minutes ago. Something's not right here. Can I... When I look at her, will she just talk normal or... Whoa! That's not even me. That's Meryl's perspective. I don't know. Something weird is going on. I don't know. I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, though, in this little room before we get any further. Because things are... Things don't look right. I don't know what's going on here. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. I hope you're looking forward to the next one. For you guys who have played the game, you know we're in for something pretty awesome. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I can't wait to see you back next time. Thanks for watching.